Hey there. So I wanted to talk a little bit about a type of probiotic bacteria that you'll find in the gut microbiome that I think many people have never heard of before, but it's worth hearing about and knowing about. So first of all, first of all, as you can probably tell by now, it's a little bit difficult to pronounce. It is uh, Fecalobacterium prosnitzii, um, or some people call it F pros, uh, P R A U S for short, which is certainly a lot easier. But in any case, while it may have a very long and sort of difficult to pronounce name, it also has a lot of importance uh, for the gut and provides quite a few health benefits. Um, so the major benefit is that it's a major producer of butyrate. Uh, butyrate is a short chain fatty acid, SFCA, short chain fatty acid. And it has been proven to be found in large abundance in people who are lean um, and people who are obese do not have much of it. It has been shown to ward off disease. You can basically Google butyrate, B-U-T-Y-R-A-T-E, and learn more about it. But, uh, the, you know, whenever the body produces short-chain short fatty acids, um, you're basically talking about three of them, which is uh, butyrate, acetate, and propionate. Butyrate is probably the one I'm most familiar with and arguably the most important. Um, and so this is basically a byproduct. Butyrate is a byproduct of the interaction between prebiotic and probiotic bacteria. So this F pros probiotic bacteria is something that can technically be fed and nurtured and proliferated and grown. Um, so you have more of it and then therefore are producing more butyrate. And so this is something we talk about with uh, HMO, human milk oligosaccharide as a prebiotic fiber that will go into your system and act as the food, not really for you, which is a hard concept to grasp for many people because they're like, well, if I'm swallowing it, it's feeding me. But it actually has no nutritive nutrition value for a human being. It does feed these independent organisms, the bacteria in your gut, the probiotic bacteria. And so uh, a lot of people who follow our channel, Layer Origin Nutrition, are familiar with bifidobacteria. Or if you've read uh, the great book, The Immunity Code by Joel Green, you're familiar, familiar with Bifido, with Acromantia, Mucinophila, um, and some other important gut bacteria. But f -pros is another one, and there are some ways you can, you can feed it. Um, one is just in general through, you know, prebiotic fiber. So HMO is a good way to do that. You know, if you're pressed on time or you're not sure which foods have prebiotic fiber, you can definitely do um, an HMO powder or you can do, you know, an HMO capsule. Uh, pure HMO is what you want to look for. Um, or you can you can also just go for prebiotic foods or also probably the preferred method. Um, and then there was a study done where people took uh, kiwi fruit extract capsules um, golden kiwi fruit coming mostly from New Zealand. And there's a couple name brands of it that you can find online if you search for a bit. And people took these and they were able to increase their levels of uh, Fecalobacterium prosnitzi, which was very interesting uh, as part of that study. So there's definitely some ways and you can buy those capsules online. You know, we have nothing to do with those, but they, you know, are one way to do it, a pretty specific way, according to a, one study. I'm not sure who funded that study, but you know, it could have been the companies who make those products, but um, an interesting study nonetheless and something to keep your eye on. And there's some other ones too that talk about how to increase the uh, abundance of, of the f pros bacteria in your system. Um, but just a very fascinating um, bacteria just in general, this uh, Fecalobacterium prosnitzii. And again, it's not your typical you know, lactobacillus um, you know, it's not uh, one that a lot of people have heard of before. And I think that's partially what makes it so fascinating is, is it's you know, something that uh, not everybody knows about. So it is, though, one of the most abundant and important commensal bacteria of the entire human gut microbiota. Um, similar to Acromantia mucinophila, it's anaerobic, so it has to live um, without oxygen. If, if you add oxygen, it's, it's not going to be able to live. Um, and it has a very important role in promoting gut health in general. Um, so 
talking more about it, um, there have been a lot of studies shown that um, its abundance can actually be reduced in people who have different intestinal disorders, which again leads you to believe that you know, if you're healthier, you're going to have more of it. And that may be part of what makes you healthier. Um, although you never want to confuse, you know, causation and correlation. But, you know, it's believed that f pros can be um, a possible a possible assistance in dealing with ulcerative colitis, with Crohn's disease and things of that nature. Um, as I said, it's one of the main butyrate producers found in the intestine. Um, and as I also talked about before, butyrate has a crucial role, plays a crucial role in gut physiology and well-being, um, and also is the main energy source for the colonocytes, and also has protective properties against colorectal cancer and inflammatory bowel diseases like IBD, which is huge. Um, butyrate can reduce intestinal mucosa inflammation, um, so there's a lot of benefits you're getting there. And so again, just wanted to quickly go over this uh, type of probiotic bacteria, uh, Fecalobacterium prosnitzi, something that is certainly worth a little bit more research. I'm not going to take up your whole day and uh, go on and on and read what you could read yourself, but um, definitely something to look into and think about taking a prebiotic supplement or looking for these kiwi uh, capsules, which are also, you know, are prebiotic that, that act as a way to grow and proliferate the um this type of bacteria. So food for thought and uh, certainly good, good idea to provide some food for your microbiome in the form of prebiotics. Getting a little corny here, folks. All right. Well, thanks for watching this and uh, good luck in your learning adventures and your health.